What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, I'm going to offer you 10 synonyms for the commonly overused expression I don't agree. I'm sure they will stand you in good stead for your speaking exam, especially when you have to interact with your partner or examiner. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's get on. Before we start, I'm gonna give you the correct answer to the bonus question from the grammar quiz. And the correct answer is A. If you come to Valencia, I recommend visiting Lake Albufera. So in English, we don't use the definite article before the names of lakes. However, it's used before groups of lakes. For example, the Great Lakes. Before we look at 10 expressions, just a little side note. I'm gonna give you one bonus expression that I think can be very useful. And it's, it doesn't agree with me. We use this expression to talk about food or drink that makes you feel slightly ill. For example, in my case, garlic doesn't agree with me, which means that I don't feel good after eating it. And now let's get started. The first expression that you can use to disagree with someone politely is I'm afraid I disagree with you there. I'm afraid I disagree with you there. Let's put it into an example sentence. I reckon it's better to buy your own apartment than rent one. I'm afraid I disagree with you there. A mortgage takes away your freedom. Now let's move on to our second expression that you can use instead of I don't agree. I like it a lot and it's we are on different pages. We are on different pages. Now let's look at one example. I prefer to buy material things rather than spend money on traveling. We are on different pages. I'd rather spend my savings on getting to know the world and living new experiences. And now let's move on to our third option to replace I don't agree. And you can say, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Let's look at one simple sentence. From my point of view, traveling alone is dangerous and boring. I wouldn't say that. Jumping off the deep end and overcoming a fear of traveling on your own makes you grow. And on top of that, you get to meet a lot of new people. Number four, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. For example, paper books are more convenient. I'm not convinced. Ebooks are way more eco-friendly and economical. The fifth alternative is I see what you mean, but. I see what you mean, but. For example, to me, living in the countryside is much better. I see what you mean, but I'm a city girl. I like to have all the amenities on hand. And guys, before we continue and learn five more synonyms for I don't agree, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. And now let's continue with our lesson, our expression number six, not necessarily. Not necessarily. And now let's look at one example. Working remotely is much tougher than at the office. Not necessarily. You can save a lot of time and money by not commuting. 
Let's move on to our expression number seven. It's quite long and it's I can't quite see your point on this. I can't quite see your point on this. And now one example. If you ask me, the weather is not something you need to take into account when moving abroad. I can't quite see your point on this. The weather really affects my mood and my energy levels. That's why I can't imagine myself living in the UK. By the way, it's raining right now and that's why there is little light. Number eight, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. And I'll look at it in context. It seems to me that you can't become fluent in English unless you live in an English-speaking country. I'm not sure about that. In this day and age, there are many tools that can help you reach a high level of English. To more to go, number nine, we can add, well, actually, I'm not sure about that. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. Let's look at one simple sentence. Social media has changed our lives for the better. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that, as social networks also put a lot of strain on our mental health due to social comparison that leads to anxiety and FOMO. And last but not least, one of my favorites, together with we are on different pages, and it's let's agree to disagree. It's a great expression when you can't reach an agreement with your partner and it's okay. We think in a different way, we have different opinions and it's fine. And you can say, let's agree to disagree. And now let's look at one example. I believe there is nothing wrong with fast fashion. As far as I'm concerned, it's detrimental to the environment and brings a lot of clutter into our lives. Anyway, let's agree to disagree. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. I think these expressions can really help you in your speaking exam. And by the way, I have another lesson on 25 alternatives to replace I agree. If you haven't seen it yet, you can find it right here. And of course, guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!